Hello students, welcome back to my channel once again. In this video, today I am going to teach you introduction and classification of carboxylic acids. You know students, carboxylic acids comes under organic chemistry. Okay, so what is meant by a carboxylic acid? You all know that carboxylic acid is an organic compound. Fine. Now, when do we call an organic compound a carboxylic acid? It should contain a functional group called as carboxylic group. What is carboxylic group students? It is a C double bond O. OH group is called as carboxylic group. Okay. So now you can define a carboxylic acid like this. The organic compound which contains a carboxylic group that is COOH as its functional group is called as a carboxylic acid. Okay. So here I have written you can check out students the organic compounds containing carboxylic group brackets I have mentioned COOH are called as look here are called as carboxylic acids fine their general now you understood a carboxylic acid is nothing but it contains COOH that is carboxylic functional group. Then how do we write the general formula of a carboxylic acid? Okay students, this COOH is the carboxylic group or the functional group and R attached to COOH. So RC double bond OOH is the general formula of carboxylic acids. Okay, now if I ask you what is a carboxylic acid, you can easily define a carboxylic acid. Fine, now. This carboxylic uh, uh, acid or the carboxylic uh, that name is derived from carbonyl and hydroxy group students. Look here, I will show you. The name carboxyl has been derived from carbonyl. What is carbonyl students? It is a C double bond work group and hydroxy group what is hydroxy group oh okay now in a carboxylic group the both carbonyl and hydroxy groups they both are linked to one another they are directly linked to each other that's the reason we call these compounds as carboxylic acids okay students so you understood why it is named as uh, uh, carboxylic acid because the name carboxyl is derived from carbonyl and hydroxy. See carboxylic group is COOH. Okay. C double bond. This is carbonyl group. OH is hydroxy group. As these two are directly linked to one another, they are called as carboxylic acids. Okay. Now you understood what a carboxylic acid is and why they are called as carboxylic acids. Fine. Now, Coming to the classification, carboxylic acids, you can see here, they can be divided into monocarboxylic acids, dicarboxylic acids and uh, tricarboxylic acids. So, how can we uh, say that they are classified into monocarboxylic, dicarboxylic and tricarboxylic acid students? See, it depends on the number of COOH groups uh, present in the compound. Depending on the number, if there is a one COOH group, we call it as monocarboxylic. If there are two carboxylic groups, uh, they, we call it as a dicarboxylic acid. If there are uh, three carboxylic groups, then we call it as a tricarboxylic acid. See, I have mentioned here uh, the examples. One COOH, monocarboxylic and two COOH groups, dicarboxylic and three COOH groups it is a tricarboxylic okay so they can be divided into monocarboxylic dicarboxylic and tricarboxylic depending on the number of COOH groups present in the compound okay next so you can see here i have mentioned 
monocarboxylic acids contain one COOH group. They may be saturated or unsaturated. They may be saturated or unsaturated. Fine. Look here. Below uh, mentioned examples, CH3, CH2, COOH. How many carboxylic groups does it contain students? It has only one COOH and hence it comes under the category monocarboxylic acid. And it is named as propanoic acid as there are three carbons. It is called as propanoic acid and it is a saturated compound. Fine. Next, coming to another example, there is a CH2 double bond CH COOH. Here also only one COOH group, hence it comes under the category monocarboxylic, but it is unsaturated due to the presence of a double bond over here and its name is acrylic acid. Clear students? One COOH, one COOH, monocarboxylic, all single bonds saturated. Here as it contains a double bond, it is unsaturated. Next coming to dicarboxylic acid. What is the dicarboxylic acid? You know if it contains two COH groups we call it as dicarboxylic acids. And also here I have given an example CH2 COOH COOH. It has two COH groups and it is called as malonic acid. Next coming to tricarboxylic acids. Tri which means it contains a three COH groups and example I have given here CH2 COOH C COOH OH next CH2 COOH how many groups are there students how many carboxylic groups are there three one two three so it is a tricarboxylic acid and uh, it is called as a citric acid fine so this is about the uh, monocarboxylic, dicarboxylic and tricarboxylic acids. And also students, you know, carboxylic acids can be aliphatic or aromatic. Okay. Now what is an aliphatic, aliphatic carboxylic acid? What is an aromatic carboxylic acid? So let me explain you aliphatic and aromatic carboxylic acids. So aliphatic carboxylic acid. What is an aliphatic carboxylic acid? It's a derivatives or uh, they are derived from alkanes in which uh, one hydrogen is replaced by COOH group. Okay. So aliphatic carboxylic acids are nothing but they are the derivatives of alkanes in which uh, one H atom, one hydrogen atom is replaced by COOH group. Then what is an, uh, uh, students examples you can ask me ma'am what are the examples. Uh, till now what all examples we have seen uh, they, they all are uh, aliphatic carboxylic acids. Okay now what is an aromatic carboxylic acid. The carboxylic acids in which uh, COOH group is uh, directly attached or directly linked to benzene ring uh, they are called as aromatic carboxylic acids okay so the example i have given here benzoic acid see students if there is no cooh then it is a benzene ring okay so one hydrogen from benzene is replaced by cooh and it is called as benzoic acid it is aromatic carboxylic acid fine so it as it has one cooh it comes under monocarboxylic but it is aromatic why COOH is directly linked to benzene ring okay so hope you understood uh, the classification of carboxylic acids and what a carboxylic acid is uh, and how the car name carboxylic is uh, uh, or where from this carboxylic name is uh, uh, derived and all these uh, you might have uh, understood okay students you can write directly uh, the notes uh, I mean uh, the, all these points in your uh, notebook so that uh, it will be helpful to you uh, uh, before uh, going into the details uh, of carboxylic acids.
okay students so uh, please uh, those who are watching for the first time uh, please subscribe the channel and share with your friends don't forget to uh, subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share with your friends um, so meet you in the next video with another new topic students take care